like I said, over here, we want to fight just for this pride and this justification. Over here, we don't want to fight because of the annoyance. Um, And I'm going to tell you, we have to decide what battles are worth fighting and what battles are not. Hi, my name is Devin. Today, I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson, and today I want to talk about the wisdom to discern what battles and to fight and what ones not to fight within your company. And and this is a bit of a heady conversation here, so I want you to kind of really stay with me. Um, in my, I, I feel like I can speak to this because I have not necessarily always done the best job in this. I've, I've made a ton, a ton of mistakes here, but I get questions all the time from entrepreneurs about, you know, issues that arise in their company that aren't necessarily um, business issues as much as they are dramatic issues, you know, uh, whether that's legal, whether that's HR, whether that's personnel driven, um, um, whether that's uh, dealing with family members, whether it's dealing with um, structure. And what happens is as a business person, business is difficult enough, right? We have our customers, we have our employees, you know, we have to have our profit, we have to pay all our bills, we have to, you know, run a company. But what, what we often are within um, this organization is truly the leader and the ultimate decision maker on a lot of times these big dramatic issues. And I have learned to put these two issues into two schools of camp, right? There is the issue that I know I'm right. I know they're wrong or I know the company's right. I know they're wrong. And I am going to fight, 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 fight for what's right. Even though at the end of the day, there's not a lot of good that's going to come out of it. Right. And again, I'm going to tell you, I haven't done this right. Right. So this is what I've done wrong. And then there's these other issues, uh, again, where they're, they're dramatic issues or big issues and you kind of just don't know what to do with it, or you don't like the answer of what you should do with it. And in that scenario, that's where you kind of like just bury your head in the sand and hope that the problem goes away. And as I've probably shared both of these with you, you're probably thinking of examples that you've had to deal with that you've maybe done a great job with, or maybe you've done a poor job with, but I'm going to share with you my experiences and what I've learned over the years, um, is that when these dramatic issues come up within your company, again, whether they're personnel related, whether they're, you know, uh, you know, infighting or whatever's going on or, or legal issues or whatever, you kind of have to sit back and go, what is the ultimate outcome, right? Like what is the ultimate outcome of this? If I do not deal with it and if I do deal with it and what, who is going to be hurt along the way? Um, on this side of the house, there's a, a ton of pride, right? And, and, and this, this idea of justice, like, I want justice to be done. The right thing must be done. And therefore, I'm going to plant my flag of justice. I'm going to be right. And I want the whole world to know that I'm right. They're wrong. You know, they're bad. I'm good. You know, our company did the right thing. They're the wrong thing, blah, blah, blah. And and we put all of this time and this drama and this effort and these resources and these, uh, you know, sleepless nights and this, you know, fight, fight, fight. For what reason? At the end of the day, so that I can say I'm right, you're wrong. I've, Sadly, yes, that's what I've done, (laughs) right? Because at the end of the day, even when at the very end you're proven right and you look at the time and the effort and the resources, what was the point of all of it? What was gained from it? Nothing other than something stimulated by pride. And so my first challenge to you is when these issues come up and you decide whether you're going to fight or whether you're going to um, try to find some amiable solution, you need to decide if the reason, are you, the reason why you're fighting is just out of pride, just because you want to be right and you want the world to be wrong, just so you can prove to everyone that, you know, you won and they lost. 
And, and sadly, I've done that. And I'm going to tell you, it's not worth it, people. It's just not worth it. Um, now, the flip side is the, the other side where these dramatic issues come up and you choose not to deal with them. And some issues must be dealt with. And again, I said, when, when we start, when we analyze this just issue, we have to decide what is the end, right? If I fight the fight and I win the fight, what is the end? If I don't fight the fight, and what is the end, right? Because oftentimes the issues that we don't want to deal with will bite us five, 10 years later because we have buried our head in the sand and we haven't dealt with the issues that we need to deal with. And those are the ones that are very painful. Those are the ones where you probably know that what you should do, but you don't want to take the action to do it because it is going to be so painful. It is going to be so um, annoying. It's going to be so taxing. But let me tell you, if you don't pay that tax (laughs) early, right? If you don't take that problem and handle it earlier rather than later, it will become a bigger issue. More people will become involved. More, the the consequences will be greater. Um, And so when you look at this and you decide, hey, this one, I just kind of want to ignore. I'm going to tell you, that's the wrong thing. If you're looking at this going, it's never going to go away. It's never going to go away. Like I said, over here, we want to fight just for this pride and this justification. Over here, we don't want to fight because of the annoyance. Um, And I'm going to tell you, we have to decide what battles are worth fighting and what battles are not. Because you can't fight every battle that comes, right? You have to have discernment on which ones deserve to be fought, which ones need to be fought, which ones, um, you know, are you're fighting just out of your your own pride versus which ones you're fighting to preserve your company, to preserve the people within your company, to preserve your clients. And this is difficult, right? Especially with legal battles, because on both sides, there's, there's dollars and cents Uh, on both sides, there's sleepless nights. And you as a leader have to decide what you're going to fight. My challenge to you as, as you're doing this is to ask why, are you fighting? Why are you fighting? And, and be honest with yourself. Because this side, you're probably fighting out of pride. And you're probably fighting because you want the whole world to know that you're right and they're wrong. And, and you want everyone to go, I won, you lost, right? Mm, that's probably not a good decision. On this side, why you're fighting, this is to preserve and to protect the company is to preserve and protect the people. These are battles worth fighting battles over pride, over who's right and who's wrong, who wins, who loses. This battle is absolutely not worth the fight. It's not worth the energy. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the resources fighting to protect and to preserve is worth it. And these are the one, these are the battles that you want to fight. These are where you have to put your time and your resources. And these are the ones that you do not let fester. Because if it's a problem today, it's a huge problem six months from now. It's an even bigger problem a year from now. These are the ones, these are the battles that you must fight to preserve and to protect. I hope that helps. I'm Devin. This is Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast. Take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button for more content.